Hi everyone, it's Neil from Neil's Roof Aquarium and today I'm at Reef Dreams and I'm about to get my dream fish. This is the fish I've been wanting to get for about, ever since I got a tank. I'm so excited and we're going to replace the goby as well. So uh, we're going to get the fish, get it bagged up and we're going to get back in, uh, into the tank and we'll get them in. Home and uh, basically, I don't know if you can see it, this is my dream fish, a blue spot jawfish. And he is a feisty little thing. He's jumping about, and I've been, I've been, I've been warned that he's going to be a bit of a jumper. So uh, we're going to have to be really, really careful getting him in the tank. Um, I have put the, the lights aren't due to go on yet, so I've just put them on for this video. And also, I don't know if you can see in the corner there, we've got a, a pink spot uh, goby as well. If you can see him there, he's just acclimating now. So what we're going to do is we're going to. Let them acclimate, and then we're going to get them into the tank. Uh, let's get that bit of focus. Get them into the tank, and we're going to get that jawfish, and hopefully get him just there as his new home. Right at the front is where we want him, but he's, I've been warned, he will jump. And obviously, we, you know, we haven't had a, a lot of luck, uh, luck with jumpers recently. So, um, so let's, let's get them acc acclimated, and let's get him in as quick as possible. And let's just hope he doesn't jump. We'll keep the lid on until we find a spot. He is just going to keep trying to get out of the tank. Sean's told me that. So uh, we'll be back in a bit and we'll get him in. We'll get the goby in first and then we'll get the jawfish because we've got to be very careful with the jawfish. So I'm just going to pass like I do to my one of my daughters. So we're going to get them out. We're going to be quite quick with this today. So, uh, oh, it's not too fresh with it on there. So let's just pour the water in there. There we go. Let's lose that. Just hope it doesn't jump. There we go. So there's there's the goby and look at him. This one won't jump through because it's too big. But what a lovely, lovely pink spot goby that one is. So uh, what we're gonna do now is get the uh, the piece of the resistance, the, uh, the the blue spot goby, and we've got to be very, very careful with him. I'm just gonna empty this out because there's too much water here. Let me I'll be back. And he's got to jump, so we need to be very careful with this one, so, uh, right. This guy's gonna jump, so we've gotta be very careful now. In fact, let's do it on the floor. Um, <laughs> oh God. The water spilled. Oh God. But that didn't go to plan, did it? Quick, let's get the lid on quick. Let's get the lid on before he jumps. Well, that was a shambles, wasn't it? But we knew he was going to jump. Um, where's the other bit? Uh, right. Where's he gone? Oh, he's, he's, he's gone under there. So, well, that didn't really go to plan, did it? I've just spilt water everywhere. and um, But we've got them in. That's the most important thing. We've got the goby there. The jawfish is hiding. It was a, a bit stressful for him, bless him. He, um, he, he jumped as we thought he would. And, um, yeah, but we got them in. Uh, we, we'll do another video in a sec uh, of uh, once they've settled in. But it was a bit stressful for him, bless him. So, um, yeah. Uh, the lights have just gone out again, so uh, yeah, we will be. Uh, I'll be back soon. So uh, um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be back in a bit once they've settled down. All right, thanks, Pete. Hi right, everyone, so I'm back. Um, I thought I'd wait till the lights come on, and uh, just to give you a little uh, little update on him, he seems to be settling in really well. Uh, 
He's not taking any crap from any of them. I know the, the yellow tang goes near him and he opens his mouth wide up and delights say, oh, I'm going to bite you if you go near me. Uh, so they see the, the, the tang seems very curious. The goby, the pink spot goby, I haven't seen him since he's uh, he's been in. Um, he just, I've, I've looked everywhere for him and I can't see him. So um, I don't know where he is, but uh, but yeah, he, he seems to, look, he's a lovely, he's, you know, oh, you, uh, words can't describe how happy I am with this with this uh, fish. I've always wanted one. They're not cheap. This one was two hundred and twenty quid. Um, so you know it is probably uh, it's, it's certainly the height, the most expensive livestock I've ever bought. I think those candy apples there they were like two hundred quid, but this one was like two hundred and twenty. But like absolutely worth it. He's he, he's brilliant. I've been watching him all day. I mean, wait, the blues have just come off, so you know the, the, the whites have just come on now. So uh, yeah, absolutely love him. So I picked that up again. Uh, the door doorbell went, so I uh, had to uh, to get that. Um, so uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, uh, the blue spot jawfish. Um, you know, absolutely amazing little fish. I can't wait to sit and watch him in the evenings. Um, we will have a little scout about and see if we can see the goby, but um, he, he's, he's quite hard. You know, he, he, he's a big one. He, he, he's, he, I reckon he's about at least three, three, three inches. So uh, God knows where he's hiding, but um, maybe he's just got to be round the back there somewhere. Um, but whilst we're here, let's do a little update. Uh, so uh, obviously the whites are the whites are on at the moment. So. Uh, but the urchin, there, just the urchin's doing his thing. Um, all the corals seem to be looking all right. Um, the Monty, I'm getting a lot of growth on that, as I said from the previous video. Um, there's my jade wrasse there. A little blenny, bicolour blenny there, hiding away. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really happy with the tank. Uh, maintenance day today, so I've done all my bits and uh, yeah, getting a lot of uh, everything to a lot of Aptasia, but I've uh, I've been sorting that out with the uh, the Joe's juice, so it's just a matter of just keeping on top of it really. Whenever I I tend to do it once a week, I let you know I'll spot one and I'll spot another one, and then after a while I'll be right right getting the Joe's juice out and deal with them. But um, but back to this little fella, he is absolutely beautiful. I, I'm, I'm in love with him. He's, it, it's why I didn't want to. When, I, when the uh, the yellow watchman goby died, and, uh, that was my favourite fish, and you'll see that from the uh, from you know my previous videos. That's uh, so why I didn't want to get the uh, another yellow one because I think they they do look very similar. My missus said straight away, oh, it's the same as the one you had," but it's not. One's a jawfish, one's a goby, um, and uh, they you know yeah, one the yellow with blue spots, I suppose, and they, they they've got the same sort of you know grumpy face but um but yeah you know he seems to be settling in really well uh uh so let's go back to the, some of the calls but yeah uh the, the zoa garden's looking really good um uh i did do a little shot of it um under the uh blues uh with the ta uh top down shot so uh I'll, I'll put that on another video, but the, yeah, that was um, that looked really good because I had all the flow off, and it's the first time I've been able to do a video with the uh, the top down. Um, and yeah, just to, just getting another view of the tank looks really good actually. So I'll, I'll put that on another one. Uh, but I think that's it for fish now. I mean, we're, we're at ten fish now. I counted. Um, so that's enough for this tank. Uh, I don't know if you saw. Do you remember the mandarin from the previous video? I don't know if you can. See if I can zoom in there. Um, uh, I think the, the get the grammar out of the way, but um, I'm stocking up a lot of pods for him, so I'm still buying. I reckon I'm buying probably about. Well, I know I'm buying ten packs a week, so I'm really stocking the tank full of pods. So he's got lots of food because I'm. I haven't seen him touch any frozen, um, but. Uh, yeah, the like, acans are looking nice and fluffy. Um, clowns doing their thing. Don't know if uh, who's male and who's female or if they've switched yet. I mean, I think they've been in there pretty much a year now, so I'm sure they've sorted that bit out. Uh, 
but no really happy really happy with it i mean um i, I will uh oh if i if i can see the goby later on today I'll, I'll get i'll obviously get on the camera and get a video on of the goby but um at the moment it's all about this little fella until the other until he decides to come out with the goby we're um we're just hoping he pairs up with my pistol shrimp because i used to love watching them too that was my that was my uh that's my favorite thing watching them two go to work and if you look on back on a previous video i think i've done a video of them um do it you know doing that working together which is really cool uh but yeah really happy with this little fella he's got a lot of character to him um it's good size obviously nothing that can go through the uh the mesh um so uh, you know don't want that again i mean if you look at the pre previous videos i've had a you know a couple of bad weeks you know um you know bit unlucky with the, that other goby but the, the, he was just too small and sort of like so whatever i'm not sure what had happened but whatever he's, he's gone then gone through the mesh and uh and that's what even made me think of the big goby i saw him and i thought where is he and obviously the first thing i started doing is looking around the tank I was thinking, oh my god, no, no, don't tell me he somehow got out. But you know, I'm sure he, he's, he's impossible. He's so big, he's huge. Look, if you watch now, that oh no, he's not going to do it. The yellow tang was going past him, and he he really opens his mouth, so he ain't going to take any crap from him, which is good, because um, we don't have any bullies in this tank. But you see, he's still curious of him. But I think he's like that with all the new additions. But. Um, but yeah, so we 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 got ten now. So uh, ten, ten, ten's enough fish. I, I've got all the ones I wanted. I want the mandarin. We got the mandarin. Obviously, the goby died, so we, to, we want to replace the goby. Um, and then we've got the dream fish now, which is the jaw fish. Um, there are some other fishes, like other tanks and things. But you know, every, you got to bear in mind this tank's what sixty gallons. Uh, might even be less, fifty five, sixty gallon. Um, so. There's a lot of things that we can't get in this tank. We have to bear that in mind. And I think I think 10's more than sufficient for this size tank. And I have no plans to upgrade. You know, you get some people that, you know, they, they, they will change their tanks quite a bit. I am quite, you know, this is it now. Maybe if we move house, it is, uh, you know, uh, I might look to do it then when I've got to move it. But at the moment, I love the rockscape. You know, I love the, I love that it matches, you know, this matches the rest of the, the you know, the house. Um, Equipment, that's different. I mean, um, you know, lights, are, you know, like I said before, I might look to change the lights at some point. Um, but overall, everything seems to be happy. Um, Starfish has been happy. I mean, I think he's been in there quite a while now. I'll, I'll, I'll be going on six months and uh, the urchin so but you know and the, the crabs every, every, everything seems quite happy in this tank I don't want to tempt fate but um, the parameters all spot on um, yeah we got a bit of pest with Aptasia but you know we, we, you know we're dealing with that um, but yeah no really happy at that. I mean, I couldn't be any happier at the moment just hope you know just wait for these uh, these two fish to settle in and um because you know that's it for the fish now i think unless something dies then obviously that will change if you know when we get a death i will replace it um but it gets to a point now obviously when i was buying fish before i was buying like the smallest ones i could find of all of them um but now it gets to a point where all the others are quite big so there's no i think i messed up by buying a smaller fish because he was so that, that little goby was so much smaller than everything else you know and the only thing I could think of is something spooked him and he jumped up and he went that he went well both of them went through um but I always say things happen for a reason maybe I was always supposed to have got the get the uh the pink spot goby um sorry about the glare by the way I'm as, as, as you all know I do it on an iPhone so um but now I'm really happy really happy with the tank um so uh yeah I hope you all like this update um you know please like comment and subscribe I think we're on uh 35 subscribers now so obviously thank you to all my new subscribers um yeah next step to get to 50 you know I want to build this channel I'm off for a long time I, I'm, I'm not back to work till the 1st of November so uh you know, I'm, I'm going to make the most of this time and just enjoy the tanks. I'm not going to have all this time off, for, you know, to do these videos and that. When I'm back to work, probably more of a weekly thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, well, it's probably a weekly thing at the moment. But, yeah, I video bits throughout the week and then I'll, 
I'll do it. So, uh, yeah. So I'm rambling now. Right, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I hope you like the video. And uh, obviously, if the, you know if there's anything you want me to do, or you, you want to see some shots at night, or anything like that, then let me know. Any feeding videos, let me know, and I'll do them. But uh, yeah, have a good weekend. We'll speak soon. Bye.